A house? That's a house? I thought that was one of the homes. Yeah, that's a house. In April, a home in this subdivision went up in flames. The whole house is burning up. Like our whole house here, we had no idea what it was. The blast killed two people and injured one other. I don't have the vocabulary to describe it. It was just a massive, massive ex explosion. The cause? A small pipeline called a flow line hooked up to an oil and gas well. It leaked odorless gas into the basement. Oil and gas production has boomed in Colorado. So is the construction of new homes. The two can intersect in neighborhoods like this one in Weld County. This area is home to almost half of the state's active wells and one of the fastest growing metro areas in the country. So what are the risks of living with oil and gas? For starters, it looks like this. A vast network of things like wells, pipelines, and tank batteries. But we don't always know where exactly this infrastructure is. In Colorado, for example, a statewide map showing flow lines did not exist until we made one. And every piece of that infrastructure has a risk of leaking. Let's look at the numbers. In Colorado alone, more than 1,600 leaks have been reported in the past three years. That's about one and a half spills a day. Around 20% of them involve flow lines. Since January of 2016, there have been at least 24 fires and explosions related to oil and gas. For all of this infrastructure, the state has only 30 inspectors checking it all out. That's around 1,800 wells per inspector. All of this rekindling a debate here on how close is too close when you're living with oil and gas. For Inside Energy, I'm Lee Patterson.